welcome to SDN Tech Forum. Now we will shift our focus and start looking at a new type of agent called endpoint agent. So let's understand what we have in endpoint agent. Similar to cloud and enterprise agent, you have the same view, views, agent view, browser session setting, and we'll talk about browser session setting um, in next video, test setting and agent setting. Similar menu options, similar to cloud and enterprise agent. So what is endpoint agent? Uh, why there is a separate bucket for that? So endpoint agents are the agent which run on your host machine. So far we were, we were running cloud and enterprise agent on cloud infra or your enterprise network like a switch or uh, uh, ESXi. But this is a particular agent which sits on uh, end host. So let's go ahead and um, install an endpoint agent on a Windows based uh, machine or a laptop, right? So let's do that. Right now there is no test running. There is no agents are there. As you can see, all the menus options are default. Okay. So let's take the first step and uh, deploy endpoint agent because unless we have an endpoint agent, we cannot run any kind of test and browser session, etc. So let's go ahead and install. There are two options, Windows and Mac OS. Two type of endpoint agents are available. Um, there is a endpoint agent Pulse is also there, which external partner or customer you can run, but we'll stick to endpoint agent. And I have a Windows uh, uh, machine, which is x64 machine. And let's download that MSI. And this is my Windows machine. I, I am just running that and saying that install that endpoint agent. Once you do that, a simple Windows installation workflow, right? So I have installed this. Installing is in progress. It's telling you where the fly, files will go and other thing. It's like any other uh, application installed on Windows. You have to restart your uh, machine once you do uh, endpoint agent install. Well, that's it okay so that installation can progress it's copying all the files and etc so this is an agent which maps one to one uh, to your host machine and and obviously just like cloud and enterprise agent endpoint agent also has their own licensing requirement. Here we are, here we go. The installation is complete and it is asking us to restart the PC. Let's go ahead and restart that. Now let's go to 1000i's dashboard and see if that endpoint agent has made contact. So as you can see, desktop, uh, Windows based desktop actually started showing up into 1000i's. So the interesting thing or different uh, or between cloud agent and endpoint agent is you don't have to bring account ID group. It's already baked into that MSI, right? So that's the one difference. Now let's go ahead as so, so we have the endpoint agent available. Let's go ahead and create a test. Uh, so end, endpoint agent tests are also different from cloud and enterprise agent test because it's it's a separate bucket. So now I'm creating a test, say going to adobe.com, right? And um, similar settings, basic and advanced settings, select your agent, select your notification, other parameters. That's it, pretty straightforward. You can say all agent or you can selectively park agent. We have just one endpoint agent, so I'm going to say all agent. So my test is running. This is the agent view, the newly installed agent. This is the view. So what I'm getting, I'm getting local network setting, system information, memory, uh, CPU uses, memory uses, etc. And you can see my test is also running. Right. You can delete, duplicate, and go to view the test from the agent itself. So this is the view. 
the test name you can run it ad hoc or you can uh, filter it by agents as you can see my test is successful except https um, error so one of the agent is throwing https error maybe the certificate is not valid and we will see how to fix that there are two views map view and table view essentially similar re result but it's showing you uh, uh, in table format versus uh, waterfall map format this is the time uh, timeline you can see you can have 24 hour 7 day or 14 hour 14 days so you can select by default it's 24 hour window browser sessions we will talk about browser sessions in next video uh, because we will run some uh, session browser session test but for this just let's focus on adobe.com test and as you can see um, my endpoint uh, is sitting behind the NAT and from there we are going to Adobe which is 2315 so the test um, timeline is pretty much similar to the cloud and enterprise okay this is my test HTTPS, uh, HTTPS error is looking ugly so let's go ahead and fix that what you can do you can go to advanced test test setting advanced and within that you can uncheck verify SSL certificate because you will discount even if uh, the SSL certificate is check is not going through the connectivity is fine so you can uncheck that and that's what we are going to do So as you can see uh, our test cases are running, endpoint agent is installed. And once we get the result, uh, I think HTTPS error should be fixed now. So what, what is the advantage of endpoint agent? Uh, there are two things, obviously you can run test and uh, uh, uncover visibility observability but at the same time if you have endpoint agent running on your host you get a lot of local network information as well that means you see how the local environment is uh, is doing what is the rssi looking if it is on wi-fi what is the cpu and use uh, memory uses are there everything all those detail about that host you'll get simply by uh, installing that agent and here you go uh, we have all the test uh, results pretty clean and uh, in next video we will learn about browser-based uh, session uh, test. So stay with me. Thank you.